Uh, my name is Rebecca Advocat, and uh, my connection to agriculture in the Sun Peaks area is that I'm a local grower in the Lewis Creek Valley. Um, I've been growing in this area now for three years. Uh, my background uh, started strictly with ornamentals, um, and having moving up into this area, my family and I wanted to a uh, more self-sustainable lifestyle. Uh, we didn't want to rely on outdoor, um, outside areas uh, for bringing in our food. So I started uh, food production up here. Uh, my desire to start growing um, came from my grandmother and grandfather. Uh, both were avid gardeners. Uh, when I was a child, we would go over there and pick raspberries for breakfast and have raspberries and cream. Uh, they showed me the importance of food preserving through hot water baths and drying, uh, storing food in a root cellar. Uh, from that, I think it's just sort of followed me through my life. I've, it's not just something I want to do, it's something I feel I have to do. Uh, I enjoy it, it's like an itch I have to scratch. <laughs> it's, it, it is really cool, hey, like when you're a kid, and you grow up doing that, it's, it's nothing at that point, right? It's just what you do. You run out to the compost, you stir it up a bit, you go out and kill some slugs, because we were on the coast at that time. It's what you do. And, and they were so nonchalant about it as well. It wasn't like they were teaching us anything. It was just what we were doing. That's just what you do at, the, at that time, you know? You go down to the root cellar and get your jar of jam. <laughs> go to the freezer and get some berries, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, what do I feel is uh, the most important, most beneficial about growing in the Sun Peaks area? I think because where we are, the challenges that we're faced with uh, as far as a long commute for food to get, come up here, and it usually comes from the coast or from the Okanagan, um, it's nice to be able to grow the food yourselves and um, feel that you're not relying on any out outside sources. Um, for your nutritional values and just for your health and well-being. Um, our idea this summer is to start a community garden here on the property. Uh, the community garden will only be open to Sun Peaks residents so that they can come down and have their plot and grow their own food. Um, in that, it's a way of them feeding themselves, but it's also, I think it gives a lot more, just being outside and digging in the dirt and, and being in all of this. It's a lot more than just growing food. <laughs> well, it's, it's really tough, right? Because Sun Peaks is a resort. There's such a small local community that, um, sh that in order for uh, stores to bring in fresh produce and you know fresh baked goods or anything like that, it, they have a really hard go with that to, s to sustain it because the local um, population just isn't there. It's not a 12 month out of the year um, area where people are constantly visiting. There's definitely slow, slow points to it. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about Sun Peaks, I guess, in the summertime too, is now that you know we're starting to get a farmers market, and so we can encourage local farmers to come up and uh, sell their sell their stuff. Um, but even at that, you know, those local farmers aren't in this valley. They're still traveling. <laughs> from the Kamloops Valley all the way up here. So there's certainly a challenge to growing in, in this area. Um, you know, you have to work with what you're given, what Mother Nature provides for you. So you choose crops that will survive up here. We grow a lot of root crops. Um, we grow squash and pumpkin and uh, kale, chard, and lettuces. Um, just to uh, prolong our season, I've done a couple of things up here, and that's to um, raise the beds uh, using rock to try and retain some of the heat through the day um, for our nights. Um, you know, do simple things, use row covers over some of the more sensitive crops at the beginning of the season. Um, yeah. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> Gardening in the bush <laughs> means that you have to garden a certain way and you have to, you know, have your wits about you as well. I have an uh, eight-foot fence around my garden for a few reasons. One is to keep me safe when I'm working in the garden from uh, bears, coyotes, cougars. Um, I've often come across bear when I'm working in the garden and, um, you know, 
they don't really want anything to do with me, I don't think, other than my peas. <laughs> <So> <laughs> they've come down and helped themselves to those because I used to grow them on the outside of the fence and um, or along the fence that is the perimeter. I won't mm -hmm. do that anymore. <laughs> you learn your lesson. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's yeah definitely uh, gardening out, you know, in the bush. And so you need to be aware of those things and, um, yeah look up for them mm -hmm. when we have chickens here you know we'll have to have cover over top as well just for overhead predators mm -hmm. but yeah you work with what you have hawk swooping down and just picking up a whole chicken and taking off i know it's <laughs> funny hey yeah um can we do the first question again i feel like i was really nervous okay. when i first started talking yeah you to me you sounded fine but oh really yeah but okay. you're you're more than welcome to do it again i'm just gonna film the dogs because they're cute <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Rebecca Advocat, and my connection to agriculture in the Sun Peaks area is that I'm a local grower of uh, my own vegetables. Uh, we've been gardening now in this area for three years. Uh, each year brings new challenges. Um, we're always tweaking what we're doing up here to uh, uh, try and do it the best that we can. And... Um, That's okay. I think it's can it's it's cute. So <laughs> I th I think it's it'll work. Oh, my dog hates fudge. This is awesome. He'll do it at night too, hey. Yeah. It's, if it's pitch black, can he'll you find throw it? a stick out there. Oh yeah, immediately too. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted you a bit there, so uh, if... That's I... okay. I think that... Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, that was really rude. I shouldn't have... I didn't realize... <laughs>